Tonight, a suspected bank robber may like movies, too, at least their box office. Nicole Grigg has been following the cases that police are now starting to link together tonight. Nicole. Jack and Deborah, so far this suspect has hit two fifth third banks only hours apart as well as the neon movie theater. Now what he's doing, he's demanding cash by passing a note to those cashiers. This is a man police say they caught on surveillance video passing a note and demanding cash. I seen that and I mentioned to my patient, I hope to God he's not coming this way. Amanda Moody watched the whole robbery from the window of the doctor's office she works at. I just remember walking out of the office and I was told not to go near my car because apparently that's where they seen the die pack and the money and everything. And he may have some red uh, burns to his hands, red dye on his hands from where the dye pack went off. Miami Township Police say the suspect took off on foot but may have had a getaway car he jumped into which could also be covered in red dye. Need, uh, you know, any assistance we can get from the public on this. A short time later, the Fifth Third Bank in Moraine was hit. The suspect again passed a note, this time wearing a different outfit with some type of school logo on his windbreaker. Police say he didn't have gloves on, so they're hoping to get prints. It's less showy, less flashy, less opportunity that somebody out on the street's going to look through the window and see a gun and realize that they're being robbed. Now we've learned police in Dayton are looking at surveillance video from a similar robbery at the Neon Movie Theater that happened Easter Sunday. You see the suspect pass a note to the clerk demanding money before getting away. Now, police say this suspect has never shown a gun, but has indicated in his notes he has one. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 222-STOP. Deborah.